Welcome back, everyone. This is Dr. Sam Chan coming to you from Bespoke Treatments, New York. This week, we're going to discuss some nice, easy mobility drills to attack your mid-back pain. So all we will need is a foam roller right over here just to get the ball rolling for you, okay? So a couple of quick, easy movements. We're going to be attacking thoracic or mid-back extension, bending backwards. We're gonna attack flexion rounding as well as rotation for the middle back or that thoracic spine. So here we go. We're gonna place this foam roller uh, horizontally and we're gonna sit down on the floor. Now, what I'm gonna do right over here is we're gonna start out actually with that upper back. My hips are on the floor, knees are bent, hands right behind my head to support that neck. This foam roller is resting right at the shoulder blade level right now. I'm going to bring my elbows forwards. We're going to take a nice deep breath in and exhale. As I exhale, you can see I'm starting to reach back, 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 trying to get nice back bend right over here, creating extension through that mid and upper back. I'm gonna inhale, release, and let's repeat that. We're aiming for three reps over here. Easily let that air out. We're getting a nice back bend right over here. One more time, and very nice. So creating this extension right now for the mid and upper back. This is great to reverse that seated forward posture you may be holding yourself in if you're working at the desk all day. Now I'm gonna roll that roller a little bit lower. Now it's sitting a little bit lower onto right on my rib cage. <clears throat> Hips stay on the floor. Again, support the neck, hands forwards, deep breath in. <sighs> and we're gonna get a little bit more motion now. This might feel particularly stiff. And repeat, <sighs> get some nice extension for me. Really feel that pressure. Notice how my hips are staying on the floor. We're creating a nice arch in the back. One more time. Out, 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 out. Perfect, nice work. And finally, let's go one final spot. Let's go even lower at the bottom of your rib cage. I'm on your spine, okay? So last three reps, breathe in, exhale. Really getting some nice extension over here. Again, we are just reversing that posture that you may be holding yourself in as you are just sitting all day at the desk or just on your phone, etc. Perfect, nice work. Now, don't let that roller roll away. We're gonna keep it right at our side. We are going to essentially take advantage of this piece of equipment again for our rotation now. We're actually gonna combine flexion or forward bending with rotation. So I am going to come into a child's pose position. Child's pose, and so now we're getting a nice little bit of rounding in that middle back. Taking my outside hand, reach through the armpits. We're gonna push the roller away. That's gonna facilitate the push. And twist right there. Nice twist, perfect. And release. Push. Twist, drop your shoulder blade, and release. One more time. Push, twist, really nice. We're getting some nice rotation and flexion, forward bending for that middle back. Really important. That's a great way to kind of unlock both the spine and also release some of the tension in your muscles, right? Oftentimes, if we're getting a muscle spasm in between the shoulder blades, that's because the muscles are trying to twist your body for you because it feels so stiff. So we need to unlock that stiffness, unlock the mobility between your bones so the muscles don't have to work as hard. Let's show you a couple of reps on the opposite side as well. Of course, when you're doing this one, I only perform three reps. I'd say on your own, aim for eight to 10 reps per side. But let's go three reps right over here. Child's pose, nice rounding. Reach through, push, rotate, drop that shoulder blade. Great stretch and release, good. Push, <clears throat> twist, nice. Finally, push and twist. Perfect, great work. So two easy exercises, just using a foam roller at home. 
It does not need to be this long. It can be even half the, half the length, even shorter. Anything will work just to help you get a nice, again, recovered extension, flexion with that child's forward position, and then throwing in that twist so we're attacking multiple angles to really unlock your mobility in the middle back.